Hey guys, and welcome to another video. So today, I thought I would do kind of like a weird thing. I don't really know if you guys will enjoy it. <laughs> I hope you do. But um, this is just an idea I had. So when I was a youngin' child, I was like, I don't know how old I was. I was like 11 or something. Some youngin' age, you know? Anyway, I was a fangirl of literally every single Animal Jam YouTuber on the planet. Now I am one, and so I'm friends with those Animal Jam YouTubers because I guess that's how it works out. But I would, like, go crazy if I got into their den. I don't know why. Maybe it's the same with you guys, maybe not, but I used to want to get into their den so bad just to, like, see it and, like, hang out in it and... Yeah, so that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be going to people's dens and showing you them. That's kind of weird. It's like, what if this was real life and I just showed up at someone's house like, oh, and here's their refrigerator. I don't know. So I am starting from the bottom and working my way up. And first off is Wounded Wings, aka Grim 5. So basically it's a pretty bare den so far. I haven't even been in her den like... Five years. Here's two giant gummy bears and um, nothing else. Very creative. Next up is Wolfie Cat and this looks very pretty. Oh what the heck is this? I like it. It's cute and it's really gross at the same time because it's like snotting out water. Okay um, so this is pretty so far. Very nice and oh what? Is there like a new hippo party or something that I don't know about because this is like really kind of creeping me out. Um, there isn't a new hippo party. I'm disappointed now. Anyway, okay, we have in here a leaf rug portal thing. I don't really know what that is. That looks like a really pretty window. I wish I had one in my house. And, um, down here we just, you know, have normal area. Alright, and now we are entering Lilac Petal's den. Also following quite a natural theme. We have, um some drugs over here. We're just going to skip past that part. It's kind of scaring me. Um, some nice corn and such in a little barrel. A uh, fire hazard. That's always good. And let's just change that into grass. There you go. It's all pretty now. And this looks rather lovely, actually. Pretty cool. Let's go upstairs. Ooh, look at that. Cute little scenery. Continuing on, we have um, a tree with a lot of moss on it. And uh, over here we have a scented candle, which is always lovely. We have another fire hazard, as you can see in there, it's fire. Scary, bad. And then up here we have um, another fire hazard. I guess this place is really warm because of all the fires, but honestly why have a fire right next to a tree or inside of a tree? It's just a fire hazard, Lilac Petal. Jeez, come on. Think about the children. Up next is Busness, aka Bruiser, and here we go. We have a very uh, packed porch swing. has a bunch of little furry fellas on it. Um, their father is right here. I mean, I don't know how a father can give birth to, like, a seal and, you know, a monkey, but he's the father to, like, that little arctic wolf right there, but, you know, that's okay. Um, a nice little garden post thing. A car with two penguins in it, obviously. Uh, responsible drivers. Uh, here's the inside, you know, just a corner of stuff. He may be a hoarder, that's okay. It's not really, like, spread out. It doesn't have a nice theme, but that's okay still. It's okay. Um, some very confusing-smelling potatoes. Uh, a fish over here. I'm gonna name it Dorothy for the purposes of this video. Dorothy is right next to a fire. It's kind of strange, like, but I guess that if a fire was caused in the house, like, because of the fire hazard you know, Dorothy would still be alive because he's in water. And yes, Dorothy is a boy. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Give it a thumbs up if you didn't. I really don't care. Give it a thumbs up either way. Anyways, <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.